into other news. Uh, FC Dallas, MLS condemn appalling and re, uh, repulsive racist comments and, and threats against Reggie Cannon. I looked. I looked hard. I am, Apparently, I'm not good at searching things, but I went and looked because Reggie Cannon is getting destroyed. And I didn't see anything about racism. They talked about uh, respecting the flag. They talked about... Um, trying to have sports for, you know, the purpose of getting away from the world, in, you know, dealing with all the politics that we're dealing with, you know, just constantly just forced down us, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter, defund the police, um, you know, systemic racism. It just It's just so much blown up in our face, you know, hearing about Trump and Biden, and just it, it's nonstop, and it's too much, and I want it to go away like so many others, like those people that went to FC Dallas to their stadium and had the opportunity to be like freedom. I get a chance to watch a game and get away from all this and just be away. No. The teams, they came to support, decided, you know, we're going to bring politics right back to you. And they're calling that racism because Reggie Cannon is getting destroyed for, for that because people are ticked. We want a break. You think millions are on your side. They're not. The TV, the media will make you think that. It's not the case. We want a break. Can we have a break? A mental break? Look, you're, it looks like Reggie's praying to God. Yet yeah, we, we pray to God for change. We, we just want, a, we want mental health. So this was an opportunity, opportunity for Major League Soccer to give us some mental rep- from what we're dealing with and they said no we're going to make you think about it more okay we get there's racism we get it but here's their anyways the FC Dallas and Major League Soccer have strongly condemned the racist comments and threats made against U.S. soccer star Reggie Cannon after the Dallas player criticized some fans for booing players who took a knee players from both FC Dallas so it goes on and everyone's like responding. We want it, uh, another quote by the, uh, the Dallas side. Uh, we want to be clear. We love and support Reggie Cannon. FC Dallas chairman and CEO Clark, Clark Hunt and President Dan Hunt said in a joint statement on Thursday because they're forced to. Because the news are like, how do you feel about Reggie Cannon dealing with all the race? And they didn't come with proof, I'm sure. Almost guarantee it. They just wanted a sound bite. So they had to like, all right, well, we can't fight it. We can't prove it. But we're gonna we're gonna give a response. The racist comments and death threats he has received are repulsive and unacceptable. Okay, um, and I'm sure there was, but I haven't seen them. Where are they? Does the FBI have them? They're keeping it quiet so they can go get the the, the people who are gonna try and murder uh, Reggie Cannon supposedly. It's I didn't see that. Not saying it's not there. I didn't see it. But this is what's going on, and so now it be, it's become a story. It's not, it's not about them taking a knee and just ruining the game of soccer. Just we, we just want a reprieve. Can we can we have can we be away from the world inside our little soccer world? No, you, we we had to do this because you you felt like uh, all all you, all the players you felt like you you had to to step up to to remind us that uh, the world sucks and we all suck and uh, we're going to do this, whatever. I don't know. But can you at least understand that? Or am, we're going to throw it as race, uh, people trying to kill them and, and everyone's a racist. 